That was a disaster. We only have tiramisu, and we are even out of it. For real. <laughs> so you run out of dessert? Yes. We have tiramisu. Yeah. Shots. One dessert, and you run out. Isn't that crazy? We're out of tiramisu. I didn't even know. I really didn't. Pat. Two seconds, bud. Quick. I need the manager. The restaurant Austria. Yeah, can you run over there and get me one portion of tiramisu? I am fucking starving. One portion of tiramisu? Quick. Okay. Quick as you can. Where are you going? Get a piece of tiramisu. He's on his way. There he goes. Whose idea was this? Yours. No, this was your idea. Not my idea. Your fucking idea. Bring him a fork. He doesn't like anything, so he's not going to like that either. Well, hello. Hey. How are you? Good nice to see you. This is my Lina. mama. Lena, nice to see you. Excellent. I can't wait to taste that. Hey, grazie mille. Right. Excuse me, can I, can I just quickly say hello to mum again? Sir, come on, mum. God, you're going to get yelled at. I'm Your so turn. scared. Oh, God. Mama. First, I need to do something. Oh Bellissimo. Huh? Oh, Delicious. I'm going to take it. Oh, my God. He likes that math. Thank God. Thank he likes so something. Much. I mean, amazing. Whose recipe is that? Your recipe? Really good. Really good indeed. We got Lovely. Thank you. Here we are. OK, that is our mushroom risotto. Mm hmm Thank you. Is that normal? Amazing Bazzini's risotto. Ooh, well, wow, that's extraordinary, no? It doesn't even move. Well, maybe that'll look better up there. Yeah. It fits the colours. Come on. Oh. What a mess. An absolutely disgusting. So, you don't look too impressed. Oh, just taste of mush. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. My pleasure. I'll bring you some tilapia next. Mm -hmm. Nah, he doesn't like that. He doesn't like it? <laughs> Too mushy. There is a classic, you know, way to do it, but some people around here just don't like it that way, you know? My ego is not here to hear that Gordon Ramsay loved the dishes or didn't like the dishes. I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about what I do and how, what the product that, that I put out. It's all yours, Alex. All right, here we go. Thank you. Almond crusted tilapia. Jasmine rice with some pepper. Hopefully you enjoy it. Wow. Look at her. Uh, boo. Huh? I love the jasmine rice. He has to like the jasmine rice. Hmm. It's just so bland, honestly. I mean, it's just greasy, bland, and you cut into the fish, and it's just mush. Now, how is the tilapia coming along? Hmm? Are we making some forward progress here? Yeah, no, I'm, do you know what? I'm, uh, I'm still hungry. Um, Do you have something in mind? Uh, any desserts? Certainly. Sharon, our dessert chef, makes everything. Good. I've got a carrot cake. Oh, wow. Should be a New York cheesecake. Do you know what? I have a little slice of the cheesecake and the carrot cake. Done. Please. Yes. Cheesecake, carrot cake, tilapia, no go. Fish was bland. Watery. Fish was bland? Again, we're, we're kind of like, we have an older clientele here. They like nod to assertive okay. things. Right. How could I think that Paul did a good job? You know, if he did a good job, Chef Ramsay would have said the food was great. You know, he didn't say that, so Paul didn't do a good job. Start right here with a carrot cake. Wow, all homemade. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Hi. Gordon's eating your carrot cake right now as we speak. Oh, vey. The last thing that people eat is dessert, and if the dessert sucks, that's bad. Oh, you scared me. Don't come around the corner like that. Sharon. <laughs> Sharon. First of all, that is delicious. Awesome. Uh, whose recipe is that? Mine. Can I have it? No, if for a price. Everything for a price. For a price. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> That's made with passion. As much as you have. You make love to that carrot cake, don't you? Well, I'm getting divorced, so it's the cake or... Uh... <laughs> I'll go for the cake. Hope he likes it. Sharon's going to be devastated if he hates it. I hate it. I'm so glad you liked it. Honestly, I felt like it's a fucking wake in a funeral, and all of a sudden the carrot cakes arrive and woof, and back up there. 
I love you. Uh, <laughs> Ramsey is going to love this food. It's simple food, it's basic food, it's feel good food, but it's done very well and fresh. Okay. Boiled mm. shrimp. Thanks, Tony. My first Louisiana shrimp. Yeah, everything's soft. They should peel easily and sort of pop out the shell, but I'm struggling to peel them. Mm. I mean, that is nasty. What I'm struggling for here is the lack of freshness. They feel and taste slightly mushy, which is a big disappointment. Candice, where are the shrimps fresh? They're fresh frozen. They're fresh frozen. frozen. I know it's kind of an oxymoron. But you can buy fresh shrimp yes. within a mile from Yes, there. yes. The frozen shrimp tastes like shit. Sorry. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to know why we would get frozen shrimp when you can go to, like, the market and get them fresh every day. It's not uncommon to have frozen shrimp because some things are okay frozen. How we look on the oysters? Coming right now. All right. Wow, that back wall is hideous. What a mess. Yeah. You got two seconds, please? Yes. And what's with the, uh, the swamp decor? <laughs> Whose idea was that? Um, mine and my husband's. To eat in a swamp? For children or for adults? For both. For both. For both. Oysters Coatello. That's my worst thing. All right, here we go. OK, thank you. All right. What the hell is that? These are the Oysters Cortello. Oysters Cortello. So I suppose you go like that. Wow, they're dreadful. Oysters named after the owner. I certainly wouldn't put my name on that. I wouldn't even put my enemy's name on that. Take it for you? Mm -hmm. OK. Thank you. That's depressing, isn't it? No. Just terrible. Oysters Cortello, I don't know what to say about that. I eat them myself. I think they're delicious. Absolutely delicious. Now, what do you say? Oysters Cortello just ain't working. This is killing me not to know what he's saying. This is the fried chicken steak, right? Correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Bland as anything. No seasoning, no care. Look at that. Ugh. Candice, what the hell is that? It looks like it's just had a giraffe's tongue cut out and deep fat fried. People complain that the quality of the food here is horrible. Unbelievable. Daryl's not listening to the feedback that he gets, and he's going to do what he wants to do. Daryl. Yep. He said that it looks like somebody cut out a giraffe's tongue, battered, and fried it. I'm not going to agree with that. It didn't look that way to me. I mean, that's what normally goes out. It's a good product. So it looked like we cut out a giraffe's tongue. Wow, wow, wow. Jesus. Thanks, Daryl. Doesn't look fantastic. But it tastes delicious. Who made that? Emil makes it. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just so happy that Chef Ramsey likes the bread pudding. It feels great to end on a good note. Love the bread pudding. You like the bread pudding? There we go. Loved it. I took full responsibility for bread pudding. That is all me. Daryl doesn't really have influence on that. Thank God. Thank God he likes some I did. I'll take that any day. Let's call this one the Redemption Burger. And for the first time since he started working at the restaurant, he is using his own recipe. But this time, I want to season it our way. This is very important to me that when I make this burger, it's a good burger. But at least it's going to be my burger, and it's not going to be Jen and Alan's burger. Let's start getting this thing ready. Are you making them a burger, too? Yeah. With the Wago. A lot with the way it goes. I'm smart enough to listen to what Chef Ramsey wanted. He wants a nice, juicy burger. He wants something with flavor, not frozen meat. Medium rare, brother. OK, get it off. We're ready. Let's give Ramsey a hamburger, man. Here we go. I know if you're eating lunch, don't worry. Uh, Please. I just made a burger. My ingredients. Your own ingredients? Yes. Wow. So it's not on the menu? No. Do you want to try it? Some people have called me a meat sculptor or a meat creator. And a lot of different celebrities have eaten my food and have said it was fantastic. Yes. What's in there? You'll see. 
Yeah, uh, try it. I, I can see the blood, it's, but what's in there? It's the uh, Wagyu mix, but I've, what I've done is I've added certain spices and I made a cheeseburger. I don't like a bun. Alan, you're not a meat expert. You don't know a thing about meat. The only thing you know how to do is sit on the computer in there and change menus. That's what you do. And you made this? Yes. It's amazing. That is hideous. At least it's seasoned. This is the burger I'm dying for. Sure. David, please. Presentation. Uh, it looks great. Thank you, Chef. Explain, please. I'm using a small gruyere with grilled tomato, spring mix, with a mustard aioli and a jumbo pickle homemade. What I had earlier, this is this looks night and day. Wow. OK. Look at that. Bloody hell. I mean, that's what I call a burger. Jesus. And how does it taste? It's delicious. Thank you, Chef. The temperature's perfect. And the roll, it's crispy. Yes, Chef. Would you like to have a little taste? I'd love to. <coughs> what is that strong it, taste that I'm tasting? Greer cheese, and it's smoked, right? Yes. Yeah, I love it. Does that go through the meat? I taste something stronger in there, like a dry-aged or something beef. But I do like my meat red in it. I, I am a medium rare girl. The problem is that's not medium rare as it should be. It may be medium, uh, but I can tell you one, it's bloody juicy. That is delicious. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, I'd give that 9 out of 10. Love that title there, by the way, Redemption Burger. And you certainly did that. Suck on this burger, Jen. And you too, Alan. Why aren't we serving burgers like that? Because I thought the Wagyu meat was better. You got your priorities wrong. Because the word Wagyu sounds glamorous and expensive. It doesn't mean you say it's going to deliver you the most tastiest okay. burger. There you go, chef. Collard greens. Wow. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you very much indeed. Wow. It's bland, no seasoning. It's just fried and soggy and limp. Uh, James, what do you think? You got to eat it all together. If you eat it all together, mm -hmm. it should. Well, I did eat it all together. It still stayed bland. Thank you. Oh my God. What is he saying about our stuff now? A little bland. Oh, my God. And collard greens. It's great. He's crazy. Where's the chitlins at? It's in the microwave. They're delicious. If we get one out of three, we might be all right. And this is the chitlins and okra. OK. Chitlets. I mean, I know chitlets are the intestine, but should they really stink? Before I do taste them, I'd like to pray to God before I put any of that in my mouth. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, you are blessed. <laughs> we rebuke the spirit of the devil. Yeah. You are prayed over. We guarantee you that you are not about to succumb to those chitlins. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> I just had to pray over Chef before he ate the chitlins. What the fuck? There's no prayers going to save me on this one. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Chitlins. Shitlets. I need the toilet, excuse me. I knew they'd come out quicker than they went in. Chef Ramsey is a mess. Oh, it's chicken and rice. Please look at that after throwing up. Throwing up? Holy crap. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Oh, they stink. Oh. <laughs> Shall it be taking it lightly and not seriously at all? Is it in the children's bathroom? I'm not sure, but I guess the prayer didn't work. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Not used to that soul food, huh? <laughs> Thank you. I want to see what's going on. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> so we've got the Found red velvet. It. Mom Mary makes all of our desserts. Mom Mary. Yes. Wow. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Mm. Wow. That is delicious. Finally, some good fucking food. Wow. How do you like this? Yeah, it's delicious. Well done. Wow. I had to wait to the end. I've been saved by Mother Mary.